This is Kevin Woodbury for Twin Suns Tutorials. Today I'm going to be working in Photoshop Elements, uh, but what I'm going to do here applies to previous versions of Elements as well as to the full-blown Photoshop. And what I want to do is kind of show you the basics of layers, what they are, how they work. Um, conceptually, for those of you who are as old as I, um, if you remember back to the days in school when they used overhead projectors, which was nothing more than a light box which would project whatever you put on top of it to a movie screen. And they used to use transparencies on those overheads and a lot of times they'd put down one transparency which may have numbers on it, then a second transparency which would have a graph and that would that would kind of display as one image. And basically they could continue to build on that by putting more and more transparencies together to form a composite image. That's in essence the concept behind layers. So I could probably make another al analogy to a dark room and superimposing one uh, negative on top of another, but for the moment I think the overhead is probably more pertinent. So that's the concept of layers. Um, you, but what you're doing is building a composite image by putting one layer on top of the other. The benefit of layers is that you're not affecting the original image um, and you can always go back. It's very easy to go back. So before we get any further, I want to have you open a picture. And if you don't have one open, please put me on pause. Go find one and open it. Now I'm assuming you've done so and you're back. So the next thing I want to have you do is look at the screen and see if it looks the same as this. Now it may not look the same at all down here. That isn't what I'm concerned with. I'm concerned with over here and over here. And if it doesn't look the same, it may be because of these options up at the top. You want to be on the Expert tab. And Quick Tab is going to look like this. Guided is going to look like this. I'd like you to be on the Expert tab. Don't be intimidated by that. It's easier than you think. Uh, but it's easier for me to explain layers in this in this uh, mode, if you will. So make sure you're there. And then the other thing I'd like you to check for is this right panel. If you don't see this, go down to the bottom of the screen, and most likely what you're seeing is um, these options, but none of them are, are highlighted. Um, what I want you to do, if you don't have it, is to click on layers, and you'll notice that now appears. So assuming we're all in the same place, um, when you first open an image in Elements, it, and this is, by the way, the photo editor, not the organizer, but when you first open an image, it creates a background layer. And the background layer represents the original. It is not, by its nature, editable, even you, though you can make it um, editable. Um, and you'll notice there's an eyeball here. And the eyeball allows me to turn a layer on and off. So if I click on this, because it's the background layer, nothing's happening. But when I start to add layers, I'll show you, you can click on it, and it actually turns that layer on and off. And I'll show you the benefit of that in a second. So the first thing I want to do is I want to create a duplicate of this background layer. Uh, now, there's a number of ways I can do it. I'm going to do it the hard way using layer and duplicate layer. And when I create a layer, I want to name it um, to represent what I'm going to do to this picture. And the reason for that is a month or two when I come back to this image, um, I won't know what each one of these layers has done uh, to the picture unless I name them. So I'm going to call this Levels, and I'm going to make a level change to this, and you'll see what that is in a minute. And I'm going to say OK. Notice now there's two layers. Um, and I can hit this and turn it off, but it's not going to make a difference any at this moment because I haven't done anything. Uh, so like I said, you want to name this to represent what you're doing. So this says Level. So I want to actually go up into the Enhance menu if it'll let me. My mouse is not cooperating. Um, oops. And I want to go down to Lighting and Levels. And if you're not familiar with the screen, don't worry. Um, this is a histogram which represents the light, midtone, and dark areas. Or actually, I just did that reversed. 
on the left is the darks, in the middle is the midtones, on the right is the uh, lights, or are the lights. Um, I want to actually lighten this, and to do so I'm going to just click on this little triangle, or pointer, and I'm going to move it to the left. And notice that brightens the image for me. Now you may say that's a little bright, and it is, but what I now want to do is take the midtone, and I want to click and drag it to the right, and that will saturate the picture for me. Um, now it's still a little dark, but I'm not going to worry about that at the moment. So I'm going to say OK. And now if I click on this eyeball, notice I go back to the original. So that turns on and off the layer. It, it allows me to eliminate it if I want to. I can always delete this layer. Um, but say that's too much. Say um, I went too far with the saturation. There's something called opacity up at the top, and I'm going to click on opacity, the word, and I'm going to drag, uh, click and hold and drag to the left. And notice as I do, I go back closer and closer to my original picture until I'm at zero. And zero effectively means that that uh, layer is turned off. Um, the layer sits on top of the background layer, and when it's 100%, it literally overwrites the background layer. You can't see the background layer anymore. But as I go further to the left, it allows me to bring some of that background layer up. It kind of shines through or displays through the new layer I created. So play with uh, opacity. It's easier to see it by playing with it. I'm going to keep it at 100%, however, at the moment. The next thing I want to do is create another layer. And this time I'm going to call it, I'm going to make it duplicate and I'm going to say auto fix or adjustment fix. Say OK. And what I want to do this time is go into enhance and say adjust smart fix. And I want to bring some of the blues out. So if I click to and hold and drag to the right, notice now I get more blue in the picture, which is kind of nice. I like the blues. Um, so I'm going to keep it at 35%. I kind of like that mix, and I'm going to say OK. Again, if I click on the eyeball, that goes away. Um, I can change the opacity, bring that down so that the level layer shines through a little bit more. Um, or I can go back to 100%, which is what I want. So. The next thing I want to do is I'm going to actually make an edit to a layer. Okay, and to make an adjustment to a layer, you have to be on that layer. So I'm going to click on Adjustment um, Fix, and I'm going to do a couple of things. First, if you're not familiar with it, don't worry, but there is a video out there for um, knowing how to select. It's um, under my site on YouTube. And if I click on that tool, what I want to do is select these trees. And I'm not going to worry about how good a job I'm doing. Um, I just I want this dark area to lighten up a little bit. So I'm going to take this and I'm going to kind of just... And again, I'm not explaining what I'm doing. There is a video that will show you how to do this. Um, and I think that's good enough. I, I'm, I'm not going to worry too much about it. Uh, this is just a demo, but if this were for real, you want to be really um, uh, careful in your selection. You don't want to select things that you don't really want to make an edit to. So um, I'm being a perfectionist here, so I'm going to just leave it at that. Okay, now the next thing I want to do is I want to brighten those trees. Um, and so I'm going to go up into Enhance. And I can do this a number of ways, but I'm going to go back to lighting and levels. Mm -hmm. I happen to like levels. And I'm going to take my right pointer, which represents the highlights, and I'm going to move it to the left. And notice how that tree line starts to show up. Now, obviously, you've got to be very careful here. You can, you can make it far too bright for, for the scene. This is okay for what we're doing, so I'm going to say okay. Now I deselect by holding down the um, command key or the control key on a PC, hitting the D while I'm holding that down. 
and now I have an image that um, is brighter, it's more saturated. If I click on this eyeball, notice the tree line goes back to dark and I lose a lot of the blues. So each time I turn on and off a layer, um, I get a different effect. But my original is still intact. So I could delete these two layers and I'm back to my original, nothing has changed. If I had made all these changes to the background layer, which by the way, you'd have to you'd have to unlock that layer, which I'm not going to get into, in order to make edits to the background layer, because by its nature it comes in locked, so you can't make changes. But if I had done that to the background layer, these changes would have been permanent. I can always undo, but but this way I could technically get rid of the levels layer. Um, and still have the impact of the fix. So it's much easier to make changes when you use layers. I hope this helped. I hope it wasn't too confusing. Um, again, this is Kevin Woodbury for Twin Suns Tutorials, and I'm going to turn everything back on, and I'm going to say have a good day.